Well, affordable housing may soon be coming to the city of Del Mar, and if it all goes as planned, 60-plus units could be built at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Our Misha DeBono is live in Del Mar to explain. Misha. Yeah, hi, Maria. Good afternoon. So this is part of the county's plan to use public land to add more affordable housing. They're getting creative with this, trying to find new ideas. Del Mar, we know, one of our most expensive zip codes, not a lot of affordable housing here. Um, but if this goes through, and that is a very big if, it's still two years away. Our county is serious about using public land for housing to combat rising home and rental costs. County Board of Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer lends her support to a partnership between the City of Del Mar and the Del Mar Fairgrounds to explore the feasibility of building low income affordable housing units on the fairground property. The fairgrounds is an amazing location for affordable housing for so many reasons. It's close to services within a one mile radius, such as groceries, schools, parks, trails, transportation, and jobs. Lawson Reamer will ask her colleagues during Tuesday's Board of Supervisors meeting to support a resolution which could ultimately see 61 affordable housing units built, which is part of a bigger initiative by the board to build 10,000 homes on public land by 2030. But at this phase, it's merely a discussion and an exclusive partnership between the City of Del Mar and the DAA, which manages the fairgrounds. The City and Fairgrounds will be working together over the next 24 months to determine a mutually agreeable location on the fairgrounds property where housing can be built. The fairgrounds hosts some 2 million visitors every year and has a significant economic impact on the region. The DAA is in the process of updating its master plan at the fairgrounds and says the timing for the discussion is good, but reiterates this is only an idea.